Greetings, RC Model Geeks! And here we are. In the shade. Yeah, again. <laughs> um, on a Tuesday morning. Mm hmm. Um, for a new build. Yes, uh, brand spanking. Yes, it won't take long. No. Um, yes, okay, <laughs> it's a foamy. Well, I like foamies because when you crash them, they're easy to stick together and you don't go home with a bag of bits. I know. I just, I needed a bit of a change for a while. Right, rather than sticky bits of wood together. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you just need a break, don't you, from wood. Yeah. <laughs> and I like what you got. <laughs> and here, as they like, so I got. I went to the Southern Model Show a couple of weeks ago with Saltmarsh Pete. Mm -hmm. And uh, neither of us spent any money while we were there. But we, we both saw things that we liked. Mm. And uh, Pete's gone and bought what he liked now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's getting delivered tomorrow, and I'll be building that. Mm -hmm. That's a wood build. Oh, nice. Um, and then I bought what I wanted to buy um, when I got back as well, and uh, it's a foamy. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, yes, so um, we're going to uh, open the, the box in a minute. Yeah. Um, haven't forgotten the triplane. The triplane is still ongoing, but we just haven't really got the weather now at the moment to uh, go and test fly it again. Hmm. Done a few more mods to it. Anyway, let's open up the box. We'll go outside. Or oh, come back to you and go outside. Yeah, we'll come back to you and go outside. Yeah. Right, here it is. It's uh, it's almost coffin sized, I have to say. It's another big box. Uh, not very deep though. It's not as deep as I thought, actually. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure how we're getting into it. I thought it was the join was there, but it's not, is it? No. It's going to. Oh. There is one though. Box within a box. Yeah, I just said this, Colin, I'm not going to be very long out in this, don't worry. Hmm. Right, it's upside down. So, all the goodness has fallen out of it now. <laughs> You was going to take very long. Oh, I didn't tend to, mate. <laughs> That's a long way down the other end, there. <clears throat> now you're in. Oh. oh. There it is. It's oh. the Texan Excalibur 260. Been around for donkey's years. This plane. Um, it's obviously not very popular. <laughs> mm. So there's probably something fatal wrong with it, knowing my luck. But uh, yeah. So we're going to uh, walk this apart. Pretty build it, eh? Yeah. Let's do it. Back soon. Okay. We've got the lid off. Mm. And uh, here it is, all packed in its uh, box. Now uh, it comes with uh, a wing spar joiner there. It's aluminium. Mm. Or aluminium. Aluminium, if you remember. And let me tell you, that is bloody thick. Oh yeah. That ain't going to bend easy. Especially when it's inside its... Uh... Yeah, when it's inside its thingy. Mm. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's probably half the weight of the plane, though. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, this is what we call the unboxing. Yeah, people always like to watch the unboxing. So, I think what we'll do is we'll just take the bits out as much as we can okay. and then uh, look at them closer. Yeah. Rather than. Around with it all. That's probably going to be the hard way of pack. Well, there's a box and it's got stuff in it. There ah. you go. It's got the manual, the obligatory Chinese screwdriver. Looks like a nicer one. And some, uh... and some pins for holding the wings on. Hmm. Okay, so that's that one. And then we've got another bit of cover over here. That can go in the rubbish pile out that way. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the fuselage. Now, 
Is he stuck in? Or is he not? He's not. Mm. And here is the fuselage. Oh, size of that. I'll just stand that up. <coughs> Nicely packed, of course. Mm. Um, yeah, so that is the fuselage. We'll uh -huh. have a closer look at all that in a minute. We just yep. need to get this box out of the way. Otherwise, we won't be able to move in the no. ship. So here's a box of wings. Nice box. Yeah. Well packaged. Hmm. Now, I, this is sold under so many names and brands and everything. I know. I think even Hobby King did this at one time. Yeah. Uh, I think this was the BFG, the big fucking glider. Uh -huh. um, the two point, well, it's two point five. It's in between two point five and two point six meter wingspan. Hmm. Sort of sits halfway between the two. So yeah, it's a BFG basically. Isn't there a film called the BFG? Yeah, it's a big friend of giant. That's right. Yeah. Right, and there is one wing. Give you an idea. That's right. about the size of a Bixler by itself. Yeah, uh, giant Bixler. And there is the other wing. All oh, decals are already on there. Nice. So it's pretty low effort. And there's the other wing. Hmm. So uh, we'll get rid of all this packaging. There's not much to this plane really. It's going to be quite a quick build. Hmm. And uh, and come back to you. Okay. Right. We have it apart. Yes. Or rather, out of the box. Mm -hmm. So here is the horizontal stab. Yeah. And that has a servo mounted in it. And they've got a couple of little protectors there and there. Mm -hmm. And there's the servo lead. Excellent. Yeah, not bad. I mean, we'll want to unclip that and give the old the hinge a bit of a flexi. Yeah. Because, you know, guaranteed they're always stiff. Yeah. So that's that. Then we'll go to the fuselage. And here it is. It's pretty big. Hmm. Yeah. Size of that prop. That's got to be pretty big, that. Yeah. Uh, what's it saying? It 14. 14.8 prop on there, mm -hmm. and there is your your fake carbon fibre. I think it's fake is anyway. It fake or is it actually carbon fibre? I don't know. I've got no idea how it comes off that. Well, it's it's carbon look, I think, stuck onto uh, foam. Yeah. But it looks bloody nice. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. and there is your um, mounting bay. Yeah. Nice ply sheet in there, the ESC. Upside down, but uh, yeah. 60 amp. And uh, and all the toys. Sticky. And some sticky tape that's where it's fallen off and very... stuck to Colin's finger. Yes. And so a couple of magnets that hold all that lot on, slots in there. Boom, two holes down here where mounting pins go to high lock the wing in. And then down to the tail. There it is, properly hinged uh, rudder. Mm -hmm. It's not a foam hinge on there, that is proper hinges. And then the mounting points for the horizontal stab with the servo lead. Mm -hmm. And there is the servo for the rudder. Mm. Yeah, there's a few like glue marks and stuff on it. They're all glues. I reckon these have been sitting around for a long time, I have to say. Uh, yeah, but you know, looks good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then we get on to the shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> now this this plane is like north of 200 quid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anywhere between 220 to 260 mm -hmm. depending on where you buy it from mm -hmm. and uh, if I'd been smarter I would have got it for the 220 mm. I wasn't I was closer to the 260 thank you Nexus mm. and um, anyway look at this 
That's straight out of the wrapping. Hmm. Yeah. It's not broken, but it's well actually I'd say it's a little bit been a bit mauled that. It's all rough and shitty there as well. And you know the other one, you know, starting a crack up there as well on the decals. But I mean that is the worst one. Yeah. Um you know, apart from that it's alright, but you know, if I was anal I'd send it back. Yeah. Um but I'm not. Nice. But I do think that um, a little bit of a discount should be in order here, because um, yeah, somebody's had to chew on that. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I'm not wrong, am I? <laughs> no. It's bloody grooved in and wrinkled like a dog's had the end of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Perhaps mad dogs had a go. Wow. Somebody's had a go at it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, for a you know a 250 quid plane, a bit pissed off, hmm. really. Um, I expected better than that. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I mean, that is it. That's what you get in the kit. Well, apart from some cables and a screwdriver mm. uh, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to put together. All you've really got to do is put your receiver in there, um, screw the tail on, bind it all up, set the controls up, and it's ready to go. Mm. Uh, it's got a wheel on it as well. I didn't point that out before. Mm. It's got a wheel There's on it. The There's the wheel. But you can see it looks like it looks dirty, doesn't it? You see all like the gluey fingerprints and shit on it. Hmm. I mean I don't mind if I've done them. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I haven't. You know? Mm, uh, yeah. I've seen better quality. I have to say. The manual's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The manual is quite in depth. Um but uh, yeah, anyway, so we're going to put this together. We won't be flying it today because we've got bloody gales, haven't we? Yeah. But we'll at least put it together, shall we? Yeah. And uh, and see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's not like got a fucking hanger rash on it, you know? Oh, yeah. Put it down there. Nah, uh, yeah. I don't know if it's been flown at some point. No, I don't, I don't think it's been flown or anything like that. But, um,. You know, it's just, uh, it's, well, it's, I reckon these have been sitting around for a while. Hmm. You know, and that's that's just got damage in the box where, you know, it's got moved around 20 times. It's probably been to 100 shows. Yeah, probably. You know, in this box. Hmm. Uh, I've been trying to get rid of them. So, yeah, right, we're going to put it together. A uh, bit of a slight downer there with the, uh, the shitness on the tips. <sighs> Such is life. Mm-hmm. Just puts a bit of bad light, doesn't it? Hmm. Right, onwards and upwards, let's go and build yep. this thing. Okay. Back soon. Right, so we've got rid of the Dean's connector. Yeah. Bye bye, Dean's. Hello, XT60. Hmm. And put an XT60 on there. Lovely jobs. So that's all done. So what we thought is basically, you know, sort out everything in the um, in the plane electrical wise before we put the tail on yes. once you put the tea tail on it's a bit more of a big lump to handle yeah so just leave that off until until last but on the subject of the tail plane yeah yeah don't forget when you get a foamy yeah you want to make sure that the control surface moves freely hmm. this one we've just taken the uh, the clevis off there and if I put my finger on there that looks quite stiff. It's stiff as anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you want to take your clevis off and then you want to exercise like that your control surface mm. backwards and forwards. Yeah. For a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So it frees it up. Hmm. Otherwise, you get extra load on your servos. And if you've got a long control surface and the servo is driving one end because of that stiffness you'll get twisting in your control surface as it moves yeah so uh, yeah always give them a nice little bit of uh, flexing don't want to overdo it because you'll you know you can end up cracking the uh, uh, the hinge line hmm. but uh, you know that it's getting there it's still it's still not good but you know it just needs to be worked. Hmm. 
Yeah, and that's what we're going to do for the next few minutes, and we'll come back to you. Right. right. When oh. I've done that. Oh. <laughs> Reminds me of the in-betweeners. Oh, yeah. Right, back soon. It's got a serious sound. Right. right. So, uh, just looking at this uh, horizontal stabiliser again. And um, you'll see how the, the servo is sticking proud of the... Uh, the horizontal stab by what mil mil and a half yeah well the way this goes together is that the bottom of this sits on a plate which is uh is here mm -hmm. and that plate really i mean they, they've actually i think it's like they've cut it away here to try and clear that mm. let's have a look See if that actually works. No, because the cutout is on the wrong side. Oh, well, no, it's sort of on the right side. But this should be sitting pretty much flush. Yeah. Yeah? Because uh, it's certainly not uh, anywhere near the right amount of notch. So for some reason, that servo ain't sitting right in there. It's sitting right there. Mm. It's not sitting right that end. So, hmm. we'll have to pull that out and re glue it. And re glue it, see if we can get it to sit much flusherage. Hmm, okay. Because uh, there's, yeah, there's, it looks like there's enough material there. Um, it's just a assembly cock up. I always like it when I see QC uh, stuck on the exact bit that's not right. You quality control it. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> right, back soon when we cut this out. Okay. Okay, so we uh, managed to get the servo out of there. It's just glued in with some kind of glue. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Now, um, one other thing I noticed once I got this out. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah. The horn's not bloody screwed down. The output arm. Hmm. Um, yeah, and that would have been a real bastard. You'd have to take this out anyway. Because once that's in there, there was no way you were getting to the screw to uh, to do that up. No. So, uh, so yeah, so that needs doing that. Always worthwhile checking these things. I mean, they say they're almost ready to fly, but, you know, they're almost ready to crash. Oh, unless, yeah. you, unless you give them the once-over, because you're relying on some person in China uh, putting it together right for you. Hmm. Better. There you go. Yeah, I don't really move anymore. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So you know, if that if that comes comes loose, then of course it's just spin on the spline. Yeah. And uh, you have no elevator control, and your two hundred and fifty quid investment goes into the drink. Yeah. <sighs> QC twenty. Don't give him rice tonight. No. That's what I say. Right, so what we've got to do now is glue that back in. We've got it so that it sits a hell of a lot flusher, as you can see there, than it did before. Um, it won't sit completely flush because the servo is actually slightly bigger than the depth of the hole. The hole can't go down anymore because there's a big lump of carbon down there. Yeah. So... You know, you're not going to get it perfect, but they knew that because they've done a little cutaway. See, there's probably half a mil cutaway, maybe, yeah. maybe quarter of a mil, yeah, there. And that is for the servo, but it's not when it's sticking up like that. Yeah. You know, you've got to get it Good right place. flush in there, like that. Hmm. So we're going to glue that in now. Yep. And then that'll be that part done. Cool. It doesn't look much like the fuselage that we're working on, does it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, you know, stuff comes up as you're doing something and uh, you have to just deal with it. So we're dealing with it. Yes. Back soon. Bye. Right. Okay, we're on. <laughs> we're on. We're on, we're in. Right, okay, there you go. That is, servo is glued in there now. And um, we've uh, did that screw up and we've also set the uh, the alignment of the elevator mm -hmm. all works 
So, uh, yeah, that's all good. We we'll put that to one side now and carry on what we're meant to be doing. Yeah. Which was the fuselage. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, so where we left off, we'd, we'd put the uh, XT60 on there. Yeah. So all we've got to do now is plonk this back in the fuselage, put the receiver in there, mm -hmm. and Bob's your uncle. What we might do, before we do that, actually, is we'll just uh, we'll just check all the servos work. Yeah. Yeah? Um, we don't want any more silly mistakes, do we? No. Uh, like um, servo horns being loose and stuff. So uh, I think we'll just go and check those before we go any further. Otherwise, we'll forget it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Right. Back in a minute. Okay, uh, you, you know it's going to be one of these days. I mean, sometimes you can just, oh, you know, ignore it. Yeah. But I know it'll be there. And it was. And it was. Yeah, and, you know, it might have been all right, mm. you know. But, uh, no, I had to take that servo out as well and, uh, and do up the, uh, the screw that holds the arm on because it wasn't done up. It was like hanging Pissed. there. Yeah, so uh, and we had to cut this bloody decal out here, and there's a label stuck underneath that to like you know cover up the black of the uh, the servo and stuff. So and that was paper label, wasn't it? When we peeled yeah. it off, a fucking label was paper. Hmm. So we've had to stick all that back on, and that was well, we just wood glued that, PVA'd it That's fine. back on. I think that'd be all right. But well, at least we know it's good. Yes. Um, you know, we've got to give this plane every chance, even though it looks like it's had a bad start in life. Mm. Um, we've got to give it every chance. And now, uh, this is going to be the same. I look at this, and oh, what? And I can just see already that they're, they're only about halfway in the, uh, you know, in the horn there. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we can grab that. But, can you see that? How that moves? Oh, yes, got it, yeah. Oh, God, that means you've got to hook them out as well now. Right, yeah, and of course none of these have got grooves in. You could put grooves in there, you know, and to get the screwdriver in, but it's oh, it's never as good, is it? It'd probably look neat if you'd done it with a warm... You know, like we do, professionally. Yeah, well, I know. We could have a go with these ones, because at least we've got the room here. Yeah. To, like, come in at an angle and see if we can get it in. Um, oh, I don't want to do it, but... It's either that or peel these labels off and, and then have to glue the servos back in after we pulled them out and... I reckon a hot a hot groove will look neat and it'll make it easy. Yeah, all right, we might we might hot groove it then. Yeah. As we've been grooving today, haven't we, mate? Oh, we've definitely been grooving, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll put some... Uh, we'll mount a couple of channels in here so you can get the screwdriver in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, know, I wonder what that's for. What's that? Oh, there's a big black label over that. I wonder, I wonder what's hiding under there. See it. Hmm. Might be the end. It might be the end of the uh, uh, the wing tube or something. Maybe. Anyway, right, onwards and upwards. Look at my chewed fucking end. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll um, we'll put two grooves in there so we can get a driver, a screwdriver into it. Okay. Back soon. Okay. Thought I'd just show you one of the ones on the aileron. I mean, you can see that that servo arm is pissed. And if I wobble it, like, you can see it's loose. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you know, look at that. That's no good at all. No. So, we're going to have to burn a hole diagonally, boom, and on here, do these up tight as well. We've done one wing already. Yeah. Oops. I'll just uh, show the one we've done, eh? Yeah. So we just melted two grooves with a bit of piano wire there and there so we can get in, get a screwdriver in at an angle. It was either that or cut all this out, pull the servos out, unglue them and have to glue them back in again. Yeah. So That looks neat though. Uh, yeah, that's alright, you know. Um, nothing, isn't it? Well, yeah. 
so uh, yeah we've just got to do that now to uh, to this wing but as you can see I mean you know knowing what uh, cheap servos are like and stuff like that it wouldn't take much more for that uh, that output arm to start slipping around yeah you know under load or something so okay yeah we'll uh, get these sorted come back to you right okay so we've done the second wing same thing mounted two grooves so we can at least get a screwdriver into those servo screws and that's all done all done up tight sorted we've also disconnected the uh, the horn or the horns the clevises and um, flexed the control surface a bit because they were uh, quite stiff as well very stiff okay very stiff uh, yeah, so that is the main parts done, um, the main bodging parts. Uh, the only other thing we have to do is uh, put the radio in Yeah, and set it up. I might, I might strip the motor mount apart. Yeah, and have a look at that. You know, if it's if it's got dodgy screws on servos and stuff, um, you know, what's the bet in that how the rest of it's put together is mm. not so good, eh? Worth checking. Worth checking. Yeah. The other thing I also checked was like uh, all the uh, screws on the uh, on the horns as well, just to make yeah. sure they were done up nice and uh, nice and snug, hmm. which they were. Yeah. Uh, nice little tube, it's like a metal tube down in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so there you go. Um, should we have a quick look at that now, Cole? Or yeah, yeah, shall we? Leave that one until tomorrow. Um, don't mind. We can have a quick look, can't we? Well, We've only got to take the screw off the front and move yeah. the clevis out. Yeah. Um, yeah, we might as well have a look at that today, and then uh, maybe the part two will be sort of putting it all together, and uh, you know, Running maybe, maybe we'll up. get some wind. Uh, you know, not, you know, a nice day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have a quick look at that. I also noticed a massive scuff. Look. Yeah. On that uh, on that prop, I don't know if it's where they've tried to balance it or something. It looks like a balancing mark, or it's yeah. just rubbed around in the box, maybe. No, yeah, it's certainly sure. been it's certainly been rubbed because that yeah. ain't on that one no. so much. No, um, much. very strange. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, cock. Right. Okay. We'll take this we'll take this off the front and we'll have a gander and see what's going on. Just make sure it's all alright. Okay. I don't think we're going to run into any problems here, but hmm. you never know. No. It's back in a minute. Okay. So we got the uh, the prop off in the end. Nice motor in there. Nice, nice big old shaft. It's, a lot of these uh, gliders use the sort of um, the bell type motors, mm. um, but this one's a nice uh, big old uh, thick shaft. Yeah, uh, it's mounted by the normal sort of cross at the back. All right, um, but we can't get to the screws. They're down there. You can probably get the two of them, but you can't get to the ones on this side mm. to take that out. But it feels pretty tight in there. Looks all right. So we're not going to muck with that anymore. Okay. Um, but yeah, nice, uh, nice spinner assembly there. Uh, all aluminium there. Yeah. With a big boss on it. It's not exactly the thick. It feels really light. Um, big hole in the uh, the mounting for the uh, the blades. Very big hole. Um, yeah. So if you bent that up, you probably wouldn't get one off the shelf like the old um, aero nought and cam props uh, they're very similar to this aren't they mm. uh, so yeah that goes on there Bob's your uncle and the whole thing bolts up nice bit of machining yeah 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 I mean, it's all, all very lovely juggling mm. so uh, yeah we're gonna leave that off anyway um, because uh, you know when we're testing it on the bench safer to have that off of course oh yes yeah you'll also see that the motor protrudes out the front yeah yeah and it's only you know it's you quite a deep dish on this 
spinner back plate there. Yeah. So that's I would say is fairly custom as well. Mm. So if you needed to swap that out at any time, you're probably going to end up with a massive gap. Yeah. Um, you know, rather than a nice fit like that. That's beautiful. Isn't it? it is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I mean we might we can't easily fit that on the balancer actually. It might fit. Because we've got such a big hole in there, the cones on the balancer might not uh, work. There. But we'll run it up and see what it's like anyway. Yeah. Um we've got nylocks there on the uh on the pivots for the uh blades. Mm hmm I think I might have a spare set actually, very similar to this. Hmm. Um yeah, I mean they are what they are, aren't they? Hmm. There you go, Arctec fourteen eight. All oh, right. That's what's on there, mm -hmm. and then look, you even got your Pucker CE here, distributed by Revel. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that classic uh, manufacturer and distributor. Uh, yeah. Hmm. In Germany. Germany. So there you go, that is it, that is it for part one. Actually, well, see there's got these running marks all over it, you know, I think that's glue. Yeah. And here. It's quite yellow, yeah. isn't it? Age. Yeah, I think it's been sitting around a few years. That glue does tend to go a funny colour after yeah. a while. So I think they've certainly been sitting around. Well, Dean says it all, doesn't it? I'm sounding like a moaning mini today, aren't I? But, well, you know, it's... when it's a lot of money, when you, put, um, when you put out a lot of money and it's, uh, you know, plug and fly. Yeah, you, you expect ex it to be in fairly good nick. Yeah. You I would, agree. You know, you wouldn't have to keep stripping bits out. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Not wrong. Leave your answers in the comments. Yes. So, there you go. That is it really now. We're not going to do another one of these ten minutes, that's it, and talk bollocks, are we? Uh, I can't think of anything anyway. No. Oh, the swallow's going to be out of action soon. Last year he had a, an op on his uh, knee. They did a replacement knee. Unfortunately, they got it wrong, so he's got to have it done again. Yeah, did his ankle so, um, so everybody will be breathing safe on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, one of, their, uh, one of their subscribers. Remember Ian? Ian and Cheryl? Yes. Uh, what's he having done? Was his a knee? I oh, no, he's having a hip. Oh, right. Yeah, he's having his hip done oh, soon, blimey. coming up in the next couple of weeks, I think. Crikey. Um, as well. So I'm sure we'll all wish uh, Ian well, of Ian and Cheryl. Yeah. Fame. And, uh, you know, I think we've all got that image in our head of Cheryl dressed as a nurse, looking after him. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good or bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and that's it. That is the community news yes. <laughs> of the RC Model Geeks. <laughs> oh, cheers to uh, Uncle Bob for uh, asking how my back was. Yeah. So thanks, Uncle Bob. It's uh, on the mend. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. I mean, it must be because he goes on about it every day. I do. A bit like. Oh, well, my back. Oh, oh, my back. Not like my mother. Oh, my yeah, back. got sight of oh, 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 no, my back's bad. Oh, oh, my back. No, again, my back. No, stop it, mate. It's starting to make my back ache. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. I, feel like, I feel like saying, yes, we know we got a bad back there, Colin. Don't have to tell us every day. What? <laughs> did, did, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if I say, Carl, how's your back today? You can go, oh, yeah, it's still aching. It is. But, you know, it's like the first <laughs> greeting. It's like your first greeting of the day. All right, mate, how's it going? Oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm with my back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm my back. I'm going to change your subject. Uh, yeah, I'm with. Right. right. See you all in uh, the next video. Yeah. Part two of this, which in of course I don't think I've even mentioned it. It is the under many names, the Excalibur 260. Hmm. Or Excalibur 2500 as it's also called. Hmm. Um or well it was the Obby King BFG, the bigger one of the two. Yeah. The two BFGs, I think. Yeah, and uh, it's done by Arctic, it's done by Obbyco, it's oh you know, it, it's had loads of names over hmm. the years. And I think this one must be from way back when. <laughs> yes. Right. See you all in the next video where we finish it up 
whether we can maiden it fairly soon or not, I don't know, because we've got gales and stuff. Mm. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see, but we'll certainly yeah. get it finished probably tomorrow if you're around, Colin. If yes. you don't text me in the morning go, oh, my back's throbbing like a bastard. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, especially this... No, I'm a show. <laughs> so it's goodbye from Captain Rob, and it's goodbye from um, old Cripple Cock there. Hey? <laughs> yeah, cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.